Okay, so we're starting the day two review for the English team. Uh, we had today Czech Republic, Cyprus, Austria, Estonia, Azerbaijan, Montenegro, Iceland, Bosnia and Malta and Sweden. Well, uh, let's take first three. Czech Republic, Cyprus and Austria. Which one of them did you like the most? Um, I think for me, probably the Czech Republic, um, simply for the fact that she's she's just a power vocal house and, mm -hmm. and she just blew blew everyone away. Um, so yeah, for that reason only. For me, Czech Republic too, uh, because uh, it was a good start for the day uh, from Czech Republic. Uh. Yes, I also agree, and probably this is the highlight for me of the day for me because no, basically no one expected uh, something much from from her, but she is absolutely stunning vocally. That's quite surprising for me, to be honest with you, but because I thought that Austria and Cyprus both were uh, miles away better than Czech Republic, uh, especially like Austria. I think it's going to impress everyone and be at least top 10. Cyprus also definitely qualifying, but uh, I think Czech Republic is actually borderline. Uh, next three were Estonia, Azerbaijan and Montenegro. Which one do you like the most? Um, well, I've always had a bit of a soft spot for Estonia, um, really. I quite like the way that it's, that it's coming together. Um, Azerbaijan was an early favourite for me as well, um, but that today wasn't sounding um, great. But I believe she's been ill, so we kind of maybe we need to factor that, that in for now and we need to excuse and just wait and see what, what happens um, during the second rehearsal. And then, um, which one? Montenegro. Um, that one kind of got a bit lost for me. Um, I I thought the performance was perhaps a bit too dark. Mm -hmm. We are missing Mike today, who would have said that Montenegro was the best performance for today, for sure. Uh, yes, we heard Azerbaijan it was an still is on injections. She is really ill, but she will hopefully get better in a couple of days. But for Eugenia, the highlight was Azerbaijan back in vocals. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, yes, Azerbaijan is working with uh, Swedish team again. Uh, so they have uh, real legends of uh, Melody Festival and uh, House Choir, uh, Jessica Marberger and uh, Dea Norberg. And uh, last year when we spoke with Dea, she told that uh, she participated in uh, in Eurovision Song Contest uh, for about uh, Ten times, and uh, today we started uh, to count uh, how often she participated, and uh, she made eight uh, Eurovisions for Sweden, one for Malta in 2000 uh, in Globen Arena, and uh, now she participated for uh, Azerbaijan. Uh, so. She uh, Samra has a really huge support uh, from backing vocalists. Uh, if we're talking about uh, these three songs, uh, I think I really like uh, Yuri, one of uh, three uh, Baltic boys, uh, as everybody say about uh, Baltic countries this year. Uh, he's my second favorite. Fav this is my second favorite song uh, uh, from Baltic states. Uh, uh, Number one from Baltics will uh, coming tomorrow, is coming tomorrow. Uh, so uh, Samra is absolutely great too, and uh, absolutely zero points from you to Montenegro. Okay, out of this three, I'm, I also support Azerbaijan. Well, I, I like this song really much, and um, well, vocally it was a really shaky today, but. Uh, I bit, I give it, I give it as a credit uh, to and hopefully hopefully she'll be um, all right. Well, yes, for me, same Azerbaijan, probably for the same reasons. Well, we can expect more from that. I think it will she will deliver a great at the night and should do really well. Uh, the last three ones: uh, Iceland, Bosnia Herzegovina, and Malta. So, which three of three for you? Um. Oh, this is a very, very difficult one because I like all three songs. I think <laughs> the one that I enjoyed most visually um, was was Iceland. 
Um, I quite like the fact that they stuck to what they had in their national before uh, in their national final. Um, it was very difficult. I, I assume that it would be very difficult to translate that to the biggest stage. And they have some very very good camera angles in in the first part of um, of um, the the song, where where she's on the floor. And I, I do reckon that she's going to do very well, and that Russia's not going to overshadow her m as much because that's a comparison that we've heard a lot sure, over the last sure. couple of days. So yeah, I, w I, I definitely wouldn't rule rule them out just yet. Yeah. I saw Bosnia or Malta, Zinja. Uh, Malta is number one for uh, without questions. Uh, we are very sorry. Uh, not yet, uh, but uh, this song is really uh, very strong and I think that this time uh, she can repeat uh, her result uh, from 2002 when she stayed uh, uh, second uh, just be uh, behind uh, Marie Anne, uh, but I think uh, she can do very well uh, this year too because this song is very, uh, this, uh, her song is very strong again uh, about Iceland and uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina. Uh, it's very very good song from Bosnia and uh, so so from Iceland okay. uh, it's really difficult for me because um, Malta is one of my favorites and uh, well I, I expected more from the show uh, from choreography I think the it, it all is a bit wrong and a bit boring unfortunately mm. But I hope that she will qualify, and I, I wish her all success. Uh, Iceland is not um, um, such a favorite song of mine, and on the first rounds it was, I think, complete catas catastrophe. And uh, uh, well, that was um, th that was okay on the last run, almost equal to a national final. So, um, uh, talking about the show, uh, Iceland had a better show. <laughs> So, uh, so I can't say. <laughs> well, so is the winner coming from this half of the semi-final? No. Mm. Uh, from, from this semi-final? This half of today? This half. Yes, this half of the semi-final. No, I, I think absolutely no. No. Uh, I think there's a... Possibly, that if, uh, if uh, miracles, we'll have some miracles uh, <laughs> on uh, Saturday. Uh, so possible uh, we will have uh, Ira as uh, the winner of uh, competition. Okay, if miracle we have miracles, we'll have Ira as a winner. <laughs> That's a good conclusion, yes. Thanks a lot for joining us for the English review. We, we actually forgot Sweden. What if we forgot Sweden? Oh, did, did we? Did we? Yes, we did. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So Sweden. <laughs> sorry, Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> if we were sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't... Um, Do you remember that? Yeah, I mean... Well, I, I, I thought it looked okay. It's very, very much like what it was when we saw it in March, really, wasn't it? It's just on a, on a bigger it, scale. It was, the same we, uh, it was the same we saw in March in uh, France Arena, and the main changes they made, uh, they have a new stage uh, costume for uh, France, and uh, the lights behind uh, France is uh, more uh, in uh, intensive, uh, so... Uh, Jonathan Janek Noren is speaking uh, as backing vocalist for France. Uh, he sang with uh, him in uh, France Arena uh, in all the festival and, and uh, when uh, France was asked uh, and uh, his management was asked about uh, who they go to pick uh, as backing vocalist uh, uh, to Sweden uh, in Globen. Uh, France answered uh, that uh, he feels comfortable with uh, Jan Jontan, uh, so Jontan it's uh, made from his first time as Melody Festival and House Choir uh, in this uh, year, uh, so he is going to Globin Arena uh, too, and uh, his staging. I think uh, f the biggest uh, uh, surprise from France is uh, this this song uh, because the song is very catchy, and uh, that's uh, why uh, this can uh, do very well. Because when we heard this song for the first time. Nobody can, could predict uh, this could uh, win Melody, uh, the whole Melody Festival in, uh, in uh, March. Uh, but uh, when you, you s hear he the refrain of this song, uh, so it's very catchy and it's uh, very positive for, for this song, uh, for the viewers who will uh, 
hear the song in uh, 14th of May. Well, I'm not supportive of the song, but uh, the song is okay. I don't have any, anything against this, but I think that after two days of rehearsal uh, of different, very experienced uh, singers and some who has uh, years of career behind their back, um, I think France uh, sounded and looked um, am am amateurish. Um, not, not, uh, uh, yes, uh, I, I still I, I believe that he's going to be lost in the final. So though the song has definite success um, in some countries on Spotify and iTunes, but uh, um, I think it, it had some different magic. It some has some different contrast uh, that has helped him to win Melody Festival. And at Eurovision it will be different lineup, different artists, different... Um, so I, I think it's not going to work, but let's see. Okay, so France is winning? If you ask me, I think he will be, he will do very well in 14th of May. I'm not sure for the seventh victory for Sweden. Uh, but I think uh, he will do well. Okay, so that's things. I think we're wrapping up for today. Then uh, see you tomorrow for the second first part of the second semi-final. Then goodbye.